All right, so I think this is going to be my first video update, if you want to call it that. Um, welcome to the basement. If uh, you've been following the pictures, I moved into this house uh, about a year ago almost. It was July last year, so I guess not really quite a year yet. Uh, but this basement, uh, it was a lot different. There was, uh, there was vinyl fencing separating this area into, into rooms. There was a large bathroom in the back corner. There was a drop ceiling made entirely out of pine board. Uh, all that got torn out. Um, and the ceiling has been sprayed flat black. I had to rewire all these lights. Um, and lately I have gotten the exterior walls all drywalled, uh, studded, and insulated. Um, so a lot of wiring, a lot of heavy construction, a lot of demolition but starting to get there this past weekend i took the hot water tank and moved it over a few feet because uh i think this is uh where my helix is going to go so kind of next steps for me here i i gotta finish uh i gotta finish doing the mudding on the outside obviously uh, i have a couple interior walls that i'm going to build uh that basically go in line with this pole and this pole and those poles will get hidden inside the wall and the reason i'm building the interior walls is one for a view block i don't want to be able to see across the layout and second this is basically going to be a shelf layout a double deck shelf, shelf layout that takes up the entire basement um, if you don't understand what that means i would go on youtube and look up rock island modeler uh, just search for ri modeler uh, or the bnsf fall river division uh, those are the two layouts I'm really drawing my inspiration from right now. Uh, and for those of you that don't know me, haven't followed me, this is my fifth layout that I'm building. So um, I, I like to think I kind of maybe know what I'm doing at this point. Uh, definitely my biggest endeavor yet. Uh, but a lot of work to get the basement to this point. I kind of feel like this is a milestone thought I'd walk around, share. I know there's a lot of new people following the page. Um, you know, I, I know it's been slow progress, seen lots of video of my trains running either on my layout I had in South Carolina uh, or at my friends in Missouri, uh, out at Ken Patterson's and Austin Allard's. Uh, it's been nice to at least be able to run trains, but I assure you, there is a lot of Bessemer and Lake Erie transition air stuff in these crates and boxes. So, um, yeah, we do some more mud in here. We're going to epoxy the floor. We're going to build some interior walls. And uh, we'll get going on bench work. Um, boy, just as soon as we can. Trust me, nobody wants to get going and run trains more than me. But I think it's really important. Uh, I intend this layout to be kind of uh, my masterpiece. And, you know, you got to do this part right. Uh, you, you don't get to go back and do this part later if you mess it up. So I really wanted to take the time and make the room really great, a nice place to be and spend a lot of time. So anyway, um, I'm sure everyone's tired of listening to me yet, uh, but look forward to more videos, I guess, as things get more interesting. Uh, but thought it'd be good to kind of take a walk around, kind of get a lay of the, lay of the land here. And uh, if anybody's curious, this is roughly uh, roughly 30 by 50. And other than a small seating area here and my workbench, it's it, this is all railroad. So uh, anyway, till next time.